Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it is all about skincare because I'm doing my skincare favorite of 2020 and I know that my skincare videos isn't that it's not my most watched video but I love skincare and I want to show it share it with you so I have some things here and I just watched my favorites of 2019 skincare. I can leave it up here. And I talk a lot about the same things. And I think that it shows like I have found some favorites that I've really been loving. I've switched out a few things. But yeah, I think we just get started. And I can start to say that I have a dry to normal skin type i almost said tone i have a normal to dry skin i tend to get a little bit a little bit more dry now during the winter when it's colder outside i don't have a sensitive skin i'm not allergic to anything what i know i haven't tried anything that i have seemed to be allergic to i have used skincare a lot and i I'm not an expert, but I know certain things. I also don't have that much breakouts, like only when it's when I'm on my period I have some breakouts, but other than that, my skin is good. I am I've turned 30, so I'm a little bit older, you might say, when it comes to skincare wise. Now I need to change the battery. Good at things. I have two. And also, just because these things work for me and you have the same skin type, it doesn't mean that it would work for you. And what is she doing? So, I think we're just going to start and I'm going to start in like the face I'm putting on my skincare. So, first up, cleaning. Cleansing. <laughs> you don't clean in your face, you're cleansing your face. So I only have one product here because the other one I don't have. I usually do a double cleanse if I have worn makeup. And my absolute favorite makeup remover is this one. This is the chamomile, some just chamomile butter, cleansing butter from Body Shop. I don't know how many yards I have used up. Maybe four, maybe five, maybe six, I don't know. It's, it's the best thing and I don't know why I just don't stay with this. I have no idea. But I love it. It is the best cleansing I know. It takes away everything. It takes away all the makeup. And the other one that was a favorite last year as well and now Astrid is here. She's got a really big tail. Now she's going to lay down. Now she's going to clean herself. The other cleansing I do when I don't have a head makeup on, or that is my second step, is still the same favorite that I had last year. And it's this one from Body Shop. This is a Drops Off Light. This is a pure clarifying foam wash. This brightens your face a little bit or make it more even. I love this one. I think this is my fourth tube. This is so good. I really, really do love it still. So in the cleaning department, not a lot has happened. Then when I go in to toners, I, one favorite that I still have is this from Lumena. It's the Pure Arctic Miracle 3-in-1 Micellar Cleansing Water. And I know that some people say that this is not a toner because it's in micellar water. I use it as a toner in the mornings. I tone it and clean my face because I don't wash my face in the morning because I have dry skin. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love this. And I usually use this to take away the last residue of makeup if I have any. And this is so, so good. I love this one. I have used a lot of these. I don't know how many. Still love it. It is amazing. I don't have another toner that I've been really, really loving because I don't use that morning and nights. I haven't found any, actually. That is like a super favorite. And I have used a lot of different this year and I can't say like a favorite because I don't have any. But 
another thing that is an essence. If you don't are known to skincare, essence is like the step between a toner and serum. And this was one of the first I tried and I love this one. It is from the Body Shop. I love it a lot from Body Shop. This is the Vitamin E Aqua Boost Essence Lotion. This is a little bit, can I show you? This is like a little bit thicker. It's like a thick water or a watery milk. <laughs> is that a good explanation? I hope so. I use this when I feel extra dry and it is so good. It sinks in so fast and it really gives back moisture to my face. And it has been so, so good when I have been my driest. I really been loving it. Then we can take serums. I have one that I use daytime and one that I use at nights. We can start with one that I use at daytime. This is from Buji. It's a Swedish brand. This is the Big City Life Silky Drops Anti Pollution Face Serum. And I don't know why I love this. I just do. I have bought another bottle. This is soon empty. I really, really, really love this one. It feels so good on my skin, and I haven't had any problems. Tra problems. Is that troubles and problems? Problems. I haven't had any problems to go over to this. Sometimes when I change up my skincare, my skin can be a little bit angry with me. It hasn't been with this one and it feels really good. I feel hydrated the whole day and it sinks in fast to my skin. And that is a key word for me in the morning. It has to be fast. So I've been loving this. I have bought another one as I said. And I think after that I'm going to buy another one. And my favorite for night serum. I use an oil. And this I have. I think this is my third bottle. I've tried some different, different night oils or night serums. But this one I always go back to this. And this is a super favorite for me. I really love it. It is from The Body Shop. <laughs> This is the over vitamin E overnight serum in oil. This is f not a thick oil. It's a pretty thin oil. I don't know if I can show you. Maybe we can try. I don't know. Hello. I don't know if you can see anything from that, but this has been so, so good and it is thick and gives a lot of moisture, but it doesn't feel f like oily and fatty on your skin. This is also one of these products. I know that I love it, but I try something new and I go back to this one. So this, it is amazing. And then we go into creams. Or maybe I can take one acid that I've been liking. It's from The Ordinary. This is the Niacinamid. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it in English. 10% plus zinc 1%. Highly strange vitamin and mineral blemish formula. Maybe this isn't even a acid. Is niacinamide an acid? I should know this. But this I use if I have some blemishes and it dries them out. And I really been liking this. Like if I have a pimple in my forehead, I take this and it doesn't get like that big irritated and it's hurting that much, so I've been really liking this. I don't use it all of my face. I think it is going to be too drying for my whole face, but I've been really liking this, like, on my blemishes and stuff. So this has been a favorite. Then we can go into my day cream and my night cream. And my day cream. I'm just in love with this one. I'm going to buy it over and over again and 
that is from Ren. It's their Global Protection Day Cream. I bought Look Fantastic Head a box with only Ren products. I bought the box, got this. I, I love this. This is thick, but it's not thick. And it, it is amazing. I've been loving this from the first day. I've used quite a lot, as you can see. I'm going to buy this again. This is hands down the best day cream I have ever used. It is like twice the price what I normally buy a day cream for. I don't even care. I want this in my life. I have loved this. And then if we're going to the night cream, I, this is, this is not a night cream. This is a daily moisturizer, but I use it as a night cream. And I think this is my third one before I used it at day as well, but it is a little bit, I really don't like it on the day. I love it at night and it's the carrot cream from Body Shop. This is amazing. I never think my skin has been so hydrated as it is right now. And I love this one. It is so good. And I love that it is a tube actually. So this one, been loving. Then the last normal thing, because I'm going to talk about some face masks. It's an eye cream. And I think I always had said all the time when I have used eye cream, I don't know if this works. But this one, I know it works because I have a dry patch here on my eye. This one helps a lot and this is truly amazing. This I don't use at mornings. Sometimes I do, but often I don't. I use it at night. And it is from Lumiene. It's their Arctic Hydra Care Moisturize and Relief Rich Eye Cream. This is a thick, thick eye cream. I love it. This is my second tube or third. I think this actually is my third. I love this one. It is so freaking amazing. It's so, so good. So this one, best eye cream I have ever tried. Then I also want to talk about uh, SPF. I use SPF every day in the summer. Rest of the year, I do not. And I know that you should do it, but I'm not out. <laughs> and I have, I am really sensitive to the sun, but like, I don't even care. Like right now in November and December. No. But I found a new favorite sunscreen, SPF. And it is Dear Claire's or Claire's, I never know. And this is a soft, airy UV essence, everyday sun protection. This has SPF 50, I need that. And this is a brand from South Korea, so it's K-Beauty. And they are so much, so much better than ours is. This is light, this doesn't feel thick, it doesn't feel like you even have it on. I love this so much. And uh, I can, maybe, I don't know if you're going to see, but it's really lightweight. And it's just so, so nice. And it doesn't feel like you have it on. And I've been loving this the summer and this is i think this is the best spf i have ever tried and i have tried it a lot this pale fails face need spf okay so then we can go into the extra face masks and stuff first off first off i'm going to talk about the peel thing this is a thing to peel your face with <laughs> And it is from the body shop. This is the Drops of Youth Youth Liquid Peel. This I use maybe once a week or once every once every other week. This is strong, but it's not that strong. But it peels your face and you feel so clean after this. So you take two pumps, you massage it in, and then it peels your face. 
I use this when I like I look just tired in my skin and I want to look a little bit more refreshed. I used it. I have been liking this so so much. I I can really feel a difference with this. I don't know if it is different, maybe it's placebo, I don't know, but I have been really really liking this. And it feels really good, but you don't feel like you don't feel dry in your face. I have felt it with other peels that I feel so freaking dry. But with this one I haven't. And I've been really, really liking it. Another face mask is this one from Buji. I have been really loving Buji. It's a pretty new brand with skincare at least. I've used some hair care from them. And this is the Radiance Reboost. Niacinamide? Niacinamide? Niacinamide gel renewing sleeping face mask so this you have on as your last step in your night routine and then you sleep with this on and then you wash it away in the mornings i really been loving this one you don't need much at all and i have used it doesn't look like i like have used it but i have but you don't need much it dries in not too much, but so it's not sticky. And then it's... You just look a little bit more glowy in the morning. I think this is so good. I think Buji does really, really good skincare. And this is 100% vegan. And it is just such a good face mask. And night mask. I I have been this year. I've been really loving like night masks that you have that you sleep with sleeping mask. <laughs> Maybe say I've been loving them. Last face mask. I talked about this last year as well, and I have actually done an upgrade on this one. I got the package today, so but this I have been loving this year, and that is my Foreo UFO. I bought the UFO too. <laughs> I'm so excited. It was so expensive, but I'm so excited. This is a smart mask. If you watch Paulina um, from Paulina's Beauty, I know that you know what this is because she talks about this a lot. So this is a smart mask thing. So you put this together with your phone. You connect it um, with Bluetooth. And then you have a face mask. This has been my favorite. I've tried some, but this has been my absolute favorite. This is the Call It Night. I use this instead of my night cream some nights. Really love this. And you scan this and then the app knows what mask you're using. And this makes it vibrates. It gets like warm and it got LED lights and... It's so, so bushy, like the newer one I bought. It's even bushy, more bushy, but I just love it. And for a skincare nerd like me, it is amazing. So I've been loving this, especially with this mask. It's just relaxing one and a half, two minutes just for myself. I love that. It's a perfect way to um, wind down. Get a little bit calm before you go to bed. So this one I've been loving. And I loved it last year as well. So yeah. I can. If if you love skincare. And you want to test something. Bushy. Test this. I can really recommend it. And then the last thing I want to talk about. That is has been a lip favorite for me. I can't remember when I bought it. But I have really been loving this. And it's the Milk Kush Lip Scrub. I've tested some lip scrubs through my years. But this one I have loved the most. And I... it's almost empty. I use this some nights to scrub my lips. And so far, my lips hasn't cracked for such a long time. And I think this... Is one of the reasons why. I know you can get a super cheap lip scrub. Because this is pretty expensive. But I really think this is so good. And it's so. I love that it is in a stick form. 
like this. It is so easy to use. Yeah, I have <laughs> scrubbed when I have red, red lipstick on. It's not blood. It's so easy to use and it doesn't get messy at all. And I think this is such a good lip scrub. And you know what? That was all for this video. I really hope you like this. And if you love skincare, please tell me what your favorite has been this year. This was a hard video to make. I, even though I love skincare, I think I'm pretty good at not buying that much skincare. I just said that I buy a UFO, a new one. Maybe I take that back. I love... I, I don't know. This year I have been more like... I have found a favorite. And I am trying to stick with it. And really like... Okay, I love this. So I shouldn't... I love it and my skin love it. So maybe I shouldn't mess with it. And... Yeah. Skincare is a big passion for me. I really do love it. It's a time for myself every night. I just love it. So yeah. That was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And I hope that I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.